Hey, 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 what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. All right. Yes, yes, we're back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're back. That's right. We're back again for some more reaction That's videos. right. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing music. <laughs> That's what that tells you. But you already knew because you clicked on it and you knew. You knew it was doing some Kenny Loggin. Now, Kenny Loggin is a person that we, uh, I think we've done at least two, but I always want to mention this one because I actually absolutely love this song, Meet Me Halfway. It's from the yes. Over the Top video with Sylvester Stallone. Love that from the first time I heard it as a uh, soundtrack. And so this is Kenny Loggin again. And I'm looking at him and he's got some drumsticks. And I noticed, even dating back to this, it seems like lately, I don't. you might not know, I guess, what an artist can do. But it seemed there was a time that people were multi-talented. Like he's playing, looks like he's going to be playing the drums. So maybe you know how to play the drums, but he's a singer. Same thing with Phil Collins. He's a drummer, was a singer. Same thing with Morris Day from the time. He was a drummer, but he ended up being a lead singer. And so they were multi-talented guys back then. And sometimes you don't know it until something pops up on a video and shows you the talent that they have other than just singing. So we're going to get into this one. It's called Forever. Kenny Loggins, we're going to get into this. But before we do, do me a favor. With we're going to give a shout out shout to out. who recommended this yeah, particular exactly. song. Um, I guess um, Jim H. You... Uh, listen to our other video i mean watched our other reaction to, to, kenny, Ken, okay. to kenny loggins right. um and made that recommendation so shout out to you Jim. that's right and we're going to give you a shout like i said we, we're going to give you what you put out there that's what you say <laughs> who you are but you know who we talk of too that's good but let's get into kenny but uh yeah let's go before we do just like subscribe hit the notification bell sh share and comment below so let's get into it let's go <laughs> How, how difficult would it be to, to eventually design a, a lip or to in, include a lip that, that I could sit on if I wanted to do the acoustic set down here or, or if I was dancing, if I wanted to dance around the edge or something? To add on deck is what you're talking about. <laughs>
างครั้งอับตรายฟังเธอเป็นเพลงเพลงเพลงเวทีสุดเวทีบนไหนจะคือหัวต้Showed in the audience. Talk to me. Now, uh, she, up. she, what was she in? Did it remind, Blonde hair. Which I don't one? know. I was thinking Ghost with Patrick Swayze. That was, no. That, that's that's who I was oh, that's thinking not, of. That, that's who I bet, but like I know it. who you're talking about. I'm gonna try to find that, her. Was that Dirty Dancing? What's which one? No, it wasn't Dirty. Oh, no, it wasn't her. Okay. I'm trying to think of where I saw her. Yo, you must be early, and I mean, I was a little. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm talking about someone oh, early. Okay. Cause that show, I was like, wait a minute, that kind of look, but I wouldn't know why they would put her in the middle of the crowd, you know. But you know, I musically, I let me trying to find it. You gotta okay, try. You but musically, I, what I I loved the the, the chorus that that yeah. I loved the chorus part. That was really I really liked that. And um, other thing I liked about this video is how they showed. See, most people that haven't been haven't been around the business. We've been around the business a little bit, so we kind of experienced some of the. Um, Things that they do and doing before shows, after shows, during what, what goes behind the scenes, and so I like the fact that they showed that up front. That you know, especially the involvement right there. That's that's who I was thinking, but it's probably go back a little bit and let it play, see what happens. Just right there, let it play, see, and just. But um, it just looked like her real quick. The only reason why it kind of came to my mind is I happened to uh, catch a little. They have a thing now on the Dirty Dancer, like a mm -hmm. you seen that where yeah. they imitate some to, scenes. Yeah, trying to re right. create it. Yeah. Don't no, it was Patrick Swayze. And, <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> no, <it was laughs> now you kind of familiar with that, and I hate to get off Kenny a little bit, um, but um. Was Patrick Swayze like a dancer? Then he kind of he, he was doing that, or it was that something special for Dirty Dancing? Don't give me the favor because I don't really know. Um, I think I don't know because I I'm think John Travolta. I don't think he was a dancer. He just kind of did that for Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night, yeah. Know. I yeah. think he just did that for that, and he just practice practice. But the, you know, I was always wondering if he has some kind of dancing background. Because a lot of times celebrities have different talents than they do. Yeah. Yes, I don't know they if start out and end up a different. They yeah. start out one place and end up someplace else. Right. I mean, I don't know. People are familiar with a guy named L.B. Shore. He's an R&B singer, but he mm -hmm. wanted to start off as a rapper. But I think it's Quincy Jones. Like, no, let's go to really? Shore. Yeah, he tried to start off as a rapper, but then Quentin, I guess Didn't Quincy Jones said, no, let's let's let's. I think this would be a better route. So I think he wrote a lot of his first. His first stuff, but um, 
Yeah, the entertainment business is kind of, it's, 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 it's weird, man. This, this lady in the audience. Oh, you can't find, that wasn't the one you was talking about? No, that you, oh, okay. uh-uh, because I, I remember seeing her, too, mm-hmm. but there was somebody early, early on. Oh, okay. And she, I, I can't pinpoint where I seen her before, it looks like. Another thing I, I noticed, whenever you go back and listen to music in different eras, whether it's a different type of music or a different, like, time, mm-hmm. a lot of singers kind of... You yeah, may have uh, 20 singers and like 15 of them kind of got the same sound. sound. And that's kind of reminds me of Kenny and George Michaels. I, every time I now, now that I listen to it, I can hear mm. George Michaels singing that song. So I kind of get yeah, that kind of vibe. But you listen to it closely and you know, okay, they still got some identity to let you know that's Kenny. Yeah. Let you know that's George. But, but they kind of in that same little vibe. Like there was one yeah. time everybody wanted to do falsetto at one time. Uh-huh. And then you had the time where guys wanted to be a little bit macho. You had a uh, um, was in a Barry White and Larry Graham with deep voices. Mm-hmm. So you know, you had these periods that, you know, they still had their identity, but they kind of had this little, like, group of guys that kind of did the same thing, but uh, or same kind of style. But that was Kenny Loggers Forever. And I got to give a shout out to somebody, or I should say some people. And that shout out is going to be to Sunshine and E. And why? Because they actually wrote a song, performed at a few weddings, that was similar to this title, but it was called, this was it, this is called Forever, and the one we wrote was This Is Forever. So that's something we wrote, and we, they was performed at a few weddings and stuff, so we just want to give a shout out, because I don't want to We were actually them. dating, we weren't even, yeah, that we was were for, just dating. It was for a wedding, or a relative's wedding, and we wrote it, and then we ended up using it in ours, so yes. it was, uh, so it was in a few weddings, but, um. But you sang it. Yeah, I sang it in the first one from my mm-hmm. brother. It actually wasn't a, a wedding. It was the reception that I did. So uh, and me and my brother actually did it. Me and my brother did yeah, it. Then brother. later on, we had somebody do it for our wedding. And yes. it, she had her little fill on She's a great singer, but yes, she had her little is. fill on it too. But so, um, but we had just give it a little shout. I just wanted those people to be left out. <laughs> so, but before we get thank out of here. Thank you. You're supposed yeah, to say yeah. thank you, oh, Sunshine. Oh, thank you, Sunshine. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> thank you guys for <laughs> recognizing us. But, um. Uh, but, maybe uh, we'll, we'll play that part. Maybe of we'll the, play, yeah. Uh, maybe do some snippets of, uh, yeah, the, of the, the like, lady that sung. It was a Kiki. Was Kiki. It? Kiki, she mm-hmm. did her. Yeah, so. Um, Wattley. Yeah, yeah, she Wattley. was an excellent gotta singer. Give you a shout but, out, girl. So, but before we get out, do us a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, share and comment below. And I do believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening to, to Sunshine, Sunshine and Me.